Your story is over. My story has just begun. On a global scale, the movie industry is one of the few industries that grow significantly every single year. With a growth rate of 6.5 and grossing over 285 billion US dollars in 2023, it is safe to say that the movie industry is both a creative output and lucrative. But in a country where the cinematic landscape is uncharted territory, many creatives are persistent and driven by a new commitment to amplify the voice of Zambia. Despite the absence of a thriving industry and a noticeable absence of local cinema goers, these visionaries continue to produce Use, turning challenges into stepping stones for innovation. Indeed, the possibilities are endless when it comes to what you can do with a camera, a voice, and a story to tell. For one such creative, Paul Willow leads us into telling our own stories using our own lenses. <laughs> Truly an innovative filmmaker and highly decorated one to add, Paul Willow is now gearing up for an addition to his filmography, Service to Heart. I, I wanted to explore more on the mental um, and, 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 and spiritual and also psychological side of people that take care of children or of uh, relatives that are sick, that will probably are, you know, when, the, when taking care of somebody who's very ill, that has no, there's no life. There's nothing that is going to come out of it, even if you're going to keep them for like 10, 20 years. Mm -hmm. And so when I was looking at it, I was like, how is, how is, how does this affect their lives? Many do say that one of Poe's greatest work is Maria Christou The Wumba Story, which is a huge success both locally and internationally. He told us about how the success of the previous film not reflecting into this new installment. Maria Christou was the first feature film that I think went out there and then people saw it and it became what you call a global uh, success. So critically acclaimed in a way, but then the truth of the matter is I was just receiving the first prestige as a filmmaker. That was like an opening to an opening uh, portal to prestige. But then the most most of the things I was struggling with was I'm still struggling with now. Why? It's because no matter what we say, what we do, the truth of the matter is that we are developing as an industry, and the corporate world or the funding world is not very very open to us as Zambian filmmakers. You understand? There's still a struggle. We're still struggling. Why we're struggling is because for some reason. We're not a majority country filmmaking. Um, we're not a, a filmmaking industry. We're not a developed industry. We're a minority country, which means anywhere you're going to go, I'm not going to be a priority unless otherwise. As earlier stated, creating on the Zambian market is not easy. Mr. Wilo tells us the depth that he had to go to to ensure that service to heart comes to cinema. But the development was more difficult because this was the first time I was pushing myself as a writer to tackle a film that has different layers. To it, you get the kind of a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Because most of it, most of the time, we always have like a thread, you know, like a one thread. You know, boy wants girl, girl wants boy. You know, obstacle, but boy ends up with girl in the end, and everybody lives happily ever after. This wasn't a fairy tale. This was supposed to be uh, a very subliminal story. Mm -hmm. And then the issue of funding came in. You know, scouting for funding. You know, you have to like, who is coming on board? Who wants to? Uh, fund these projects. I mean, it's, these are not very, very easy projects to fund because they're not room cops in a sense, you know. You want to go to the cinema, fall in love, you know, you know, see people make out and you, you entertain. But then this was a more, it's a very nerve-wracking story. I think it took about um, whew, six months. Six months, yes. Mm. Six months, uh, four, five, five, six. But it wasn't really a continuous shoot. So we would, you know, shoot, 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 break because you've run out of money. And so again, pick it up again, shoot, 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 break. And you know, and then so Service to Heart was more, wasn't, was written in different parts of Lusaka. You get that kind of a thing, right? Mm -hmm. And so we were moving from Lusaka to, to, to uh, Kafue, Kafue to uh, Chilundu, Chilundu to um, Chingola, Chingola to, it, it was a lot of, it had a lot of moving. So it, it required us to budget for it properly, for it to work out. 
Despite all of the challenges that movie making in Zambia possesses, Paul Willow is still very enthusiastic and getting preparations ready to ensure that the premiere of his new movie, Service to Heart, runs smoothly. The plan is to do a premiere first and then probably leave it in the cinema for a week. But then that is something that we're still discussing with Levy Cinemas, where it's going to take place on the 2nd of March. And so we are hoping that people can still access it after the premiere. I think this is how we grow as an industry. It's not everybody that is going to make it on the first day of screening. Yeah, so there's a possibility. Actually, yes, that we will screen it uh, after the, the 